Christy Tomascari joins us today to talk some Emory women's basketball. Coach, after a road weekend uh, at Case and Carnegie, you're back home Friday night against Brandeis, Sunday against NYU. Yeah, two really good teams are coming to town this weekend. Brandeis is probably the most physical team we've played to date. They do an exceptional job defensively. They're getting out and running really quickly. Probably the most athletic team, one through five, that we've played, that we've Pay, uh, face to this point, and so a huge contest in that one, and then I, just as athletic as an NYU team who have played a lot of teams very, very close, unfortunately lost one, a heartbreaker uh, this past weekend in Chicago, but very, very dangerous. Uh, last week in Emory, uh, one in Case Western used a big fourth quarter, one of, probably one of your best quarters uh, defensively of the year, uh, and then uh, set back at uh, Carnegie, Lisa Murphy, obviously a little too much of her. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know that it's, it's been a long time since I've been as proud of a team as I was of our team on Friday night. Um, you know, go down nine, backs against the wall, and I just thought we got tough. I thought we started making plays defensively that really got us back in the game, and then we just kind of stayed true to that mentality the rest of the game and was very, very pleased with what I saw. And then, you know, we just we take nothing away from Carnegie. I, I thought we didn't have a lot in the tank, uh, dealing with some injuries, I mean, some illnesses as well. Um, but, you know, we have to be able to play through that. We've got to be able to rebound and be, play a little bit stronger on Sunday, especially against a former fo opponent like Lisa Murphy. Uh, uh, w one of the highlights out uh, last weekend was the play of uh, Azaria jackson Sherrod, uh, 16 points against uh, Case, 10 points against Carnegie, uh, her first back-to-back -back double figure games. Without a doubt, you know, I think anyone who's watched this play, been in practice, has seen what Z can do offensively. Uh, she's just so crafty with the ball. You know, I think missing in that was some of the great passes that she made. I thought she and Michelle really kept us in the game in the second quarter at Case. Um, when we had, you know, Ashley was in foul trouble. We had a lot of players in foul trouble on the bench. And those two just really attacked the zone and made some big plays for us. And then, you know, f gave us a lot of minutes. You know, what Z did offensively is great. Oh, but what she did defense, I think, was probably hidden in the stat sheet. And, you know, and I even told, told her yesterday, I said, you know, you and I both know that you haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what she's capable of. Just a very special player. You know, uh, you talk about, uh, getting back to Brandeis for Friday, you talk about them kind of being deep, very solid defensive team. Uh, obviously, uh, offensive execution and making the, most, making the most of your possessions will be, you know, uh, very important. You know, the one constant with Brandeis is that they are holding teams well under their average. And so we've got to make shots. We've got to be able to execute. We've got to be able to take care of the ball. Um, you know, with our young guards, it's obviously a point of uh, focus for us going into practice this week. But, you know, it's, it's UAA play. We've got to stay true to who we are. We've got to be ready to defend. We've got to try to hold them and keep them in check. Because as much as we talk about their defense, they have so many different explosive players that can really go off on any given night. So we've definitely got our hands full. All right, Coach, uh, thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to work, and we'll uh, catch up with you next week. Thanks, John.